Welcome back everybody part four. We're starting off with this little cut scene here With dr. Kane zero and Mega Man X after you defeat all eight Mavericks. Uh, I think we saw this next two as well something similar or maybe even next one I don't remember offhand, but you know what we go with it, right? We need to tell you like oh, I realized the Battle data for about the battle robots and I found dr. Tapper's main base meow I don't know why I'm out there, but that's more or less what we're doing here. This takes an insanely long time. It's like like two minutes of epilogue here, or a minute and a half of epilogue for no reason. Like, let's say you found the base. I don't care what your reason is, but holy shit! Like, I don't mind cutscenes. I really don't. But this um, this just seems this this game can get a little excessive. But they talk about Doppler, talk about Sigma, blah blah blah, the same old shit, same old different day. And it's at point D because of for Doppler, just like yeah, what, what else is new? So you find Doctor Doppler's secret lab, um, and conveniently it raises from the ground in the uh, uh, boss select screen, which I don't think I show off. I don't remember. We're gonna we're gonna find out here in like two seconds, three seconds. No, I don't show up. But first, we go to Gravity Beetle stage here. Remember, this was blocked off by, uh... This hard take was blocked off by blocks. Well, it's gone now since he beat Blast Hornet. And also because he beat Blast Hornet. Those guys are a lot easier. They're no longer homing. They don't shoot out, um... Uh, little bombs at you. They just shoot in a straight line. Still could do some damage, though. I take a really roundabout way of going about this. And I just get kind of wrecked. So I kind of left it in here just for shits and giggles. And it's funny. Um... But yeah, you get this heart tag. Again, you have to beat Blast Horde to get that. Come to Toxic Seahorse level here. You can use a charge up frost shield to make this a platform. This surface tension is jumpable. I did a poor job. So I just decided to redo it in a much closer spot. But up here will be one of those ride armors you can get. Um, those very vastly underutilized ride armors. And uh, just dash up, and there's your kangaroo armor. Little catfish stage, now we have a couple here to grab. And as you see, those guys are still green. Um, they won't stay green in the Doppler stages, though. That, that's disappointing, but, you know, all, all good. But you use this elevator. Uh, we I think I showed it off in the original, my original uh, playthrough of this level. Um, but you're going to go to the gravity well. You're going to use a charge up gravity well over here on this thing. And that rises it up. And you will get a Dr. Light capsule. Onto this capsule X. Take this armor. Upgrade. Uh, this this is upgrade will decrease the damage you take. Similar to what you get in the first three. It also puts a shield around you. Um... I really don't know if it's actually useful. Doesn't seem useful, but it's a thing that happens. It is what it is. But it's all good. It's all good in the hood, yo. I believe that's the last upgrade I need to get in terms of armor. That is what it is. Later on in Volt Catfish stage, come up here to grab a ride armor. Um, I go with the, Ch the Chimera armor. I don't know why it has an N for Chimera, but whatever. Use the Chimera armor. I think you could use the Hawk or the, uh, even the Frog. But, uh, don't use the Frog. Unless you're going underwater, don't use the Frog armor. Uh, I'll show you why later in this video. But grab it and just fall. And it breaks this floor here. And this will be another sub tank. Boom, shakalaka. Shakalaka. Chikabu. Now Crush Crawfish, there's two very close to the beginning of the level here. Use a Charge Up Triad Thunder. Not Gravity Well, I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. But you're going to use a Charge Up Triad Thunder. It breaks this ground right here. And you get our last, the Hawk Armor. Our last Ride Armor. But stay here, go left, and grab an armor. Anything but the Frog Armor. No, we just got the Hawk Armor, so why not use it? <laughs> and it shoots some missiles at you. Uh, you're going to be using this in a little bit here. 
All right, this guy falls uh, earlier when we went through this level the first time. I showed you a wall that was uh, a little uh, weak, and this is what these things are before you just shoot this, and you get uh, another heart tank. Easy peasy. But that is the last upgrade we need to get. There's a lot of backtracking. Oh boy, is there a lot of backtracking. But now it's time to go to the Mad Weatherman himself, Dr. Doppler. We just had storms today. Um, first of all, enjoy the music. Uh, this. I think it's I think it's a solid track. Um, if again a bit samey, but uh, we are in Dr. Doppler's like this is Doppler number Uno. And uh, yeah, just uh, you know, it's it's not this is not the easiest section. You have to really keep your wits about you. You gotta make sure you don't jump too high. That's one hit kill spikes. Uh, just get through it with ease. As you can see, these guys are back to their red forms. Uh, this little section here is not easy if you're not quick with your with your dash wall jumpings. Otherwise, you will die, and that's no fun. Uh, there is only one section of that, but a little callback from X2 right there. But climb up here, and uh, yeah, so that's what we're doing. I have a little bit of a mini boss here. This mini boss ain't too hard, but if um. If you use zero and he dies, he will not come assist you. I don't know if I mentioned that. If you use zero during levels and he dies at all, you can't use him again the rest of the game. And he won't show up here. But this guy is not hard at all. Um, he's a joke. He shoots the missiles at you. He shoots the bullets at you. They don't hurt that bad. You beat him pretty easily. Calling him a mini boss probably isn't fair. Even the other mini bosses, but... So Zero helps you, and he talks about there's armor, there's a power of uh, our Mavericks in Dr. Dapper's lab. No shit, we're in we're Dr. Dapper's lab. Zero, we know. But anyway. Um, Jesus Christ. The amount of text dialogue boxes in this game is, is, is high. But, we get through that mini boss, and now we will head through the rest of the level here. Get smacked around by that guy. Try your best to keep full health. And make sure you have all the upgrades, too. Um, you're going to need full health in a little bit to get the the ultimate armor in this game, if you will. Um, I, I grind a little bit here because I get hit. Um, that guy will actually... The wall guy or the guy that falls to the ground will actually drop health from time to time. Use that to your advantage. And, uh, yeah, now come full health, come down here. You don't need full floor sub tanks, just need all the sub tanks, and you get a pink capsule. Dr. Light, you're a dick. So, yeah, this is why I said don't worry about getting any of the damn pink capsules. Because if you get any of them, you can only get the one, and you can't get this. This gives you the ability of all four pig capsules. Dr. Light, you're an asshole. Um, and Terrors make them gold for some reason. But uh, all the... It's actually pretty neat. Um, it's actually pretty cool. Um, you get another defense shield that's longer and maybe takes less damage. Um, you actually... You actually get like a... A hypercharge ability... That lets you basically shoot charge shots until the energy wears out. You actually get two dash jumps if you want them. And you can do left and right, left and up, up and right. You don't have to do just one, just the same one for both times. And my one of my favorites, and uh, an awesome head upgrade, I think it's the head, is you can stand still and get health. And actually increase your sub tank as well. But here, grab your... Ray splash out because it's bit time. Uh, this will be so since we defeated Bite, Bite's not here, but we're gonna face the same boss whether you have bitten by alive, just bite alive, or just bit alive. You'd get the same boss regardless. I have heard rumors that this boss is easier if you kill one or the other. I don't know if that's true, but this boss ain't too bad um, if you just stick with it. Um, he gave me some really bad luck. You want, if you can avoid it, you want that attack. He becomes super easy with that. That is the only time in this fight 
I'm pretty sure. You might see it one more time. I don't think you do. That he uses that. That sword does a lot of... Okay, he does it a second time. That's right. He only does it twice. My test playthrough, he did that move, that attack all the time. And he only did the sword like two or three times. This one, he does the sword a lot. The sword does a ton of damage. Um, but honestly, the Race Blaster does just as much damage as him. So you're going to be able to beat him quicker than he beats you. Uh, don't go behind him because he has another attack that's really hard to dodge. And don't go under him when he gets in the upper air because I think that's instant death. That is... Uh, that, that boss is called God Car Machine Winery or something like that. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking with that name. But he's not there if you kill both Bit and Bite. Oh, I'll show that off in a bonus video. It's a far more tedious and annoying boss. I hate that boss. It's not overly hard, but it is a pain in the ass. But now we're in Dr. Doppler Stage 2. Those red guys there are a nuisance because they have armor... Which you have to defeat first. And then they go back to normal. Um, there's a little bit of great version of the ones we saw in Blast Hornet stage. Uh, and they still do a ton of damage. And this is the hypercharge ability here. Uh, it shoots charge shots all the time. Uh, it's, it's pretty nice, actually. Um, even if the charge shots themselves isn't very nice in this game. Or the uh, arm upgrade, the first arm upgrade. Uh, my recommendation is don't try killing this guy. I I was obsessed with killing him for some reason. Um, don't. You didn't need to. I could have just jumped over him. And dashed over him, to be exact. Uh, here, I'm going to show off the frog armor for a very, very short amount of time. And I'll show you why it kind of sucks on land. Now, the frog armor is designed for underwater, so keep that in mind. And by the way, you cannot take any of the other three... three um mechs underwater they explode almost instantly so keep that in mind the frog armor does not he does shoot missiles he hops he skips and he jumps has high jumps and he's not bad and i did a really really bad jump there <laughs> and i'm like well there goes the frog armor i want to show that off a little bit more but oops i hope there's nothing up top so you don't have to worry about doing that um just the set up top here um that turtle shell is a little bit in my way, but nothing major here. Alright, so there's a boss door, but I'm gonna grab zero. Maybe. Possibly. There we go. Um, I'm gonna grab zero. Remember, zero can't fight bosses, though. What gives? Well, first I fall, because I forgot I can't air dash. He's gonna fight this mini boss. Well, isn't that peculiar? <laughs> I don't know why I like doing that. Uh, this mini boss is actually kind of kind of unique. Uh, depending on what uh, color he goes, he has different attacks. But with zero, he goes down like a bitch. But he actually explodes on top of zero, and that's going to allow us to get something interesting. And breaks the game in half and does. If you don't want to have a hard time against Kaiser Sigma later, get this upgrade. Also, kill Vile. What was that explosion? So basically, zero took critical damage. By the way, um, I mentioned kill Vile. This mini boss is not here if Vile stays alive, so then you can't get this special weapon. But he says his power generator damage, go figure, zero, getting hurt again. Every other game, it seems like. He's going to go back to Dr. Like, for, Dr. K for repairs. Keep that in mind for when we get to X5 and X6. Um, but he gives you his beam saber, so another an at charge. You can go from pink to green, and this thing... It's not as one-hit kill as the Shoryuken or the Hadouken from X1 and 2. I think I said those backwards, but whatever. But it is very, very useful. And if you're on the ground, it actually shoots out a Beam Saber, which does more damage than just the Beam Saber itself. Um, i show it off a little bit right here. And uh, it's nice. It's good to have. And you really, really want it for, for the Sigma battles, uh, especially. Especially Kaiser Sigma. Um... But no, but now we have the Bean Saber, we have Gold Armor. This is where the game um, kind of breaks in a lot of ways, honestly, because now you're now you're a badass. Like, you shouldn't have too much trouble at this point, uh, except maybe with, with the final boss. But even, even then, uh, I didn't have... You'll, you'll see later. I don't know if I had that much trouble. And, and again, I made this point earlier in the playthrough... This game, this is where I'll credit the game. This game does, I think, the best job 
of the first three, or, or maybe even any of the X games for that matter, showing off X's true potential. You know, they talk about that a lot. Well, he has the potential to be the best robot, most powerful. And even though the, the beginning game is very hard because of how hard the enemies hit and how little health you have, by the end of it, if you get all the upgrades and you get the gold armor and Z, Z Saber, you are a killing machine. And uh, yeah, it's, it's not that hard. Uh, I'm talking through this section because this section sucks. For some reason, they thought this section was good, and I fucking fell. I'm making you watch it too. I, I thought about editing this out, but I'm like, no, you know what? The people need to see this. See the bullshit that is this part. Why is this part in this game? We're literally going at snail space. Because they're snail robots. Like, why is this a part of the game? You gotta be careful because you can dash, those spikes are one hit kill. You dash into them, and you die. Um, this is just a really, really annoying section. It takes you really out of, out of the game. Honestly, I, I just don't. Honestly, I, I just, I, again, I, I don't, I don't get it, and I have no idea why they thought this section was necessary. I'm not sure what the hell happened there. All right, my bad. I had a uh, missile. Uh, you can go on to that one. Uh, just to get past these guys here, I, I it's irrelevant, honestly. I just stay on this one. Uh, you do need to get on that guy. And then then once he gets up a little bit, go to this right wall so you don't have to... So you kind of notice I'm standing still and my health's starting to go up a little bit. I mentioned that earlier, that, that stand still, your, your health can go up. i actually going to stand here for a little bit. I cut that out. I just show off one or two to show you what I'm doing. Maybe. There we go. And then we cut to when I have full health. And also, again, you can do that to fill your sub tanks too, which I think is pretty damn awesome. Yeah, I think the upgrade in the game, other than the, other really than the weird damage shield and the arm upgrade, pretty good. This boss is also not here if Vile stays alive, but he's super easy. He does have, he does have some power to him if you're not careful, but he is. One of the easiest bosses in, in I say in this game, outside of the outside of the main boss. Uh, he's just just kind of a little bitch. Not gonna lie. Um, yeah, I'm keeping okay, mind that you can get higher up in the water uh, with your jumps. You got him in like the head. It, it's it's not a hard boss at all, and uh, bit of a reprieve, comp all, all things considered. Uh, with how, you know, this game is. I have a couple times with the beam saber. Takes him out really easily, but you don't need the beam saber for this fight. I just wanted to go a little quicker. But, but yeah, he goes down like a little pretty damn easily. If I must say so myself. And that has been part four of the Mega Man X playthrough. I uh, hope you join me for the final part as we go take it to Dr. Doppler and Sigma. Next time. Until then, deuces.